Do you need to create a document but don't want to start from scratch? Microsoft Word provides templates that allow you to do just that. Templates are pre-designed documents with the basic layout, formatting, and text already in place. You just have to fill in the document by replacing the text and graphics placeholders for the content you need to enter. Templates aren't all created equal, so you may have to do some searching online to find one you like. You can also make changes to a template if you find one that is close but doesn't quite fit the style or layout you want for your document. You need to create a report, but you don't feel comfortable designing its layout and appearance from scratch. You decide to look for a template that will provide the layout, formatting, and style of the document for you. We have opened Word and we are ready to create our document based on one of the templates provided by Microsoft. We can view the available templates by clicking the File tab on the ribbon. This is the Backstage view, which is new to Word 2010. To begin choosing our template, we'll need to select the New tab in the left section. We now see a number of template options we can select from to get started with the report. The templates we see under the Office.com Templates heading may or may not be from Microsoft and must be downloaded before they can be used. We want to use one of the templates that was installed with Word, so let's click Sample Templates to see them. We can browse the installed sample templates from here. We want to find one that looks similar to the style we have in mind for the report, so we need to scroll through the thumbnails. The urban report looks promising. At a quick glance, we like the way this template is set up, so let's select it to get a better look. When we click the thumbnail, a larger preview of the template appeared on the upper right. Under the template are two options, one to open a template based on this template, and the other to create a document. We want to create our report, not another template. So we'll leave the document option selected and use the Create button. When we look quickly at the document, we see that it already has a structure in place and that it is formatted with different styles for different elements. It also inherits some of our settings, like our username. The template is made up of placeholders which designate where specific text or graphics should be placed. Using the placeholders, we can begin entering the content of the report. The first text we want to enter is the date. Once we click the Pick the Date placeholder, a down arrow appeared next to it. Let's click that to use an easy way to insert the current date into the document. When we click the down arrow, a calendar showing the current month appeared. Today's date is highlighted in yellow. To insert the current date into the placeholder, we just need to click the Today button. We have now entered the date, and we can see how easy it is to use placeholders to quickly enter content into a document. The next element of text we will enter is the report title. To do this, we need to first click the placeholder that reads, Type the document title here. With the placeholder text selected, we just need to type the title to replace it. Let's title our report, Purchasing a Telescope. Our title is now in place. Let's also give the report a subtitle by going through the same steps we followed for the main title. Our subtitle will be Analysis and Recommendations. Now that we've entered the title page information, Let's look at what else is available in our template. The placeholder linked the text we entered on the title to the page here. We can also see that the template provides some advice on how to enter body text and headings, 
which will be really helpful when we write the report. Let's scroll one more time to see the rest. This template also comes with a graphic placeholder, but replacing it takes more than clicking and typing. To replace the photo, we first need to select it. We need to click the photo two times. The first click selects the photo as well as its caption, which are grouped together as a single object on the page. Once the photo and caption are selected, we'll need to click the photo a second time to select only the photo. We have selected the photo of the satellite, and we want to replace it with another photo. We can select another image file by first right-clicking the photo and then selecting the Change Picture option from the shortcut menu. In the Insert Picture dialog box that appears, we can see the telescope image on our desktop. That's the one we want to insert, so let's double-click it. The photo of the telescope has taken the place of our satellite photo. Now that we have modified our document, we want to save it with our changes. To do this, we'll click the File tab on the ribbon and use the Save button. Since this is the first time we've saved this document, we need to type a name for the file. We'll give it a descriptive name so that it will be easy to identify later. Let's call it Telescope Report. Now we have the beginnings of a report. Building a document from a template saves time because the structure and formatting is already in place. As you've seen, the process of entering text and images into placeholders is simple and can be a great starting point for anyone who isn't a designer by nature.